we are halfway through your week of pronunciation challenge. Today, we are going to talk about multisyllabic words. But first, I want to make sure that you were able to view yesterday's challenge. If not, go right now to Tricky Silent Letters. It's a fun exercise and a really important one, so I don't want you to miss out. But I'll be waiting for you in this video, so come right back after you view yesterday's challenge. In today's video, as I mentioned, we are going to discuss multisyllabic words. What does that mean? Those are really basically words that have greater than two syllables. Think of the word governor. I've talked a lot about that in other videos. There's three syllables, but so often you hear someone say governor. Same thing with the word probably. We so often hear probably. So I told you this week was going to be fun. So let me introduce a way for you to figure out and think about syllables. Let's go back to the word governor. Put your hand under your chin and say the word, governor, governor. Each time your chin moves, it's another syllable. It is so important that you increase your awareness of the syllables in a word so that you do pronounce each of them, that this is a great exercise. So let's try another word. Are you ready? Impossible. How many syllables? Impossible. Four syllables. I want you to practice saying all the syllables. Ready for another word? Convertible. How many? You could put it in your comments. You could answer the video. Convertible, four syllables. Let's try elevator. You're on your own. Elevator. How many syllables? Test yourself. I'm not going to answer. Put it in the chat, the comments. How many syllables you think there are? Test yourself and practice. These are examples of what I call multisyllabic words. The first step is to increase your awareness of the syllables in a word. Practice the exercise. It will really help you to realize that that word has three, four, five, or six syllables, and it will help you to prevent swallowing an entire syllable and making the word unclear and then confusing your listener. And we don't want that to happen. So practice these words, increase your awareness, and of course, as always, practice. Now, if you want to make sure that you get tomorrow's challenge, and tomorrow's an important one, it's on frequently mispronounced words and we all have them. So if you don't wanna miss out, make sure right now to click the subscribe button if you have not done so, and it will show up at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, Eastern Standard Time. If you have comments, please put them in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you, and I look forward to seeing you at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning.